So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today a Pez fan like myself is going to sit down and have a look at the official reveal trailer for FIFA, I was going to say Pez, for FIFA 21. Okay, so this is my thoughts, my opinions, and yeah, let's dive right into it. Now the first thing to take note of, look at those dislikes, ooh, 64,000 likes, tasty. With 11,000 dislikes, yeah, it's kind of a norm with EA, isn't it? Anyway, let's dive right into it and bash away uh, with this video. Now, there won't be any audio, copyright, and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, all right. So we've got a bit of Kylian Mbappe. Obviously, he's the cover star. And I will probably go back afterwards and have a look at a few snippets. Uh, Eric Cantona, by the way, is doing uh, the narrative part. So he is going to be an icon. I'm a little bit jealous, being a Manchester United fan. Obviously, do love Eric Cantona himself. Couple of nutmegs. Mr. Felix. Not seeing a whole lot of gameplay, as you would expect with EA, to be honest. Mr. Harland with his famous celebration. That's something new apparently right there. We'll, took, uh, we'll have a look at that afterwards. Some player to watch possibly there they were stating as well. Obviously uh, Alexander-Arnold there. Takes a free kick and wallop. Top bins. I will say, he is very, very good at free kicks. I mean, the one against scored against Chelsea. Kepa rooted to the spot, but Mayo oh Mayo right into the far corner. And there he is, Eric Cantona. Ooh. Do that again, son. There you go. Another goal. Celebrations. And bosh. So that's it. There you go in a nutshell. Um, have you seen the box art? Honestly, I don't know what they were thinking with the whole box art. It looks like a seven-year-old put a montage together, but, you know, to each his own. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's generally have a look at this a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to slow this down. First impressions, by the way... It's the same old story, isn't it? You know, the first thing you'll see when this pops up is uh, right here. Game engine footage. So not gameplay footage. It's just game engine footage. All right. Doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, but there was one thing I saw, and that was the one part where they did show a bit of gameplay, which is around here. Is this part here. Okay, so they've got this little arrow. Now, someone was saying this could be trainer, but I don't think it is because it hasn't got all the other little, you know, bits and bobs when you are using the trainer. If it's like Pez, where, you know, you can use the right stick and L1 to make a player make the run. I have always said FIFA lacks this. I know that AI movement on FIFA is better, I'd say, than Pez's and something that Pez need to work on. But having this would be so much better if you can actually make the player make the run yourself. So like, look, Mbappe, make the run, you flick the analog stick, you hold L1, whatever the, the button combination is, and then he does this. He makes the run through. I mean, it is a little bit shocking uh, defending here. He kind of just sort of, I don't know what he's playing at. But either way, that's what I got from that. If that's the case, nice, because... You know, it has been lacking in that regard. Like I said, the AI making the runs is fine, but I want to make the runs myself. Um, there was nothing real here. The old usual spilly billy willy. Uh, another thing we saw is right here. So, it says at the bottom, career mode sim. And then it's got step in. Not quite sure what that means. Um, this is very much, you know, football manager-esque with the whole 2D drop down that we're used to seeing if you don't play the 3D match mode. 
So I don't know if they're going to cater towards more simulation. Like you have an option to play better career mode sims. You can actually just do that. I mean, honestly, if Pez had something like that where you could actually watch the game and simulate it and make tactical changes whilst you're doing it, I would probably sim a lot more matches in Pez. But they're pointless. You hit skip match. You have no control over the game. You can't make any changes. And then the game is just done on your own accord and it's finished. You win or you lose or you draw. Having this with FIFA, I know FIFA's sim mode is better than Pez's, but I don't know what this means. Step in. If you know in the comments, let me know below. Um, there was nothing really here with the old montage, which seems to be a theme this year. They've done it with UFC 4. Like I said, the box art, to me, it just doesn't look good. I think the limited edition one is better because it's cleaner. It's just one image, it's done. But putting like an image here and then one there and then put one there, have a little bit of class, you know? I do graphic design, I do generally understand the concept of it. But anyway, I guess it was their choice. Someone said this was like a player to watch or something like this. Maybe Haaland's going to get a better card. I don't really know. I, like I said, I'm not a huge FIFA guy. You guys know that. I'm a Pez man. So this is just my initial thoughts. Um, and then, yeah, you know, players look good. It's still running on the same engine. We know this isn't next gen. So, look, the gameplay is going to be the same. I'm going to say this much. You can say that Pez's gameplay is going to be the same. Yes. But FIFA's is going to be the same as last year. And it's the reason why I don't really play it. Uh, Felix there. I mean, looks good. The kits look a bit... Naff. I don't know. Not very... I don't know why they're not rolling with this in, in 60 FPS. You put out a trailer. Put it in 60 FPS, EA. There's the old free kick. Top corner. Saw that again. And yeah, the rest of it is nothing too exciting. I mean, they have got this now, foot co-op, something new. Uh, I think there was actually something at the beginning, or was it at the beginning with Volta? Right here, actually. They were saying now in Volta squads, you've got invite friends, which wasn't available last year. I didn't really touch Volta, but there you go. I'm just going off what other people say, okay? So there we go. And then it was just a bit of this and a bit of that. You know, the usual fifa -ness. You know, celebrations here. You know, co-op, whatever it is. So, bosh. Bish bash. Alright, so that is that. Let me know your thoughts below. But my opinions are, it's the same old. It's the same old. Uh, so let's dive into what they're saying about big updates to career mode. Which is, honestly, and gameplay realism is, is more what I'm concerned about. I don't care about online. Give me a solid offline mode any day and I'll take it. Uh, so let's have a look here. Um, the full press release is actually here. All right, well, we're not going to go through all that, are we? Come on now. It's going to take all day. So let's find the, uh, the good stuff. Fans of career mode can take their team to the top by managing every moment with new innovations that create additional depth in matches transfers and training uh, career mode also delivers a huge leap in gameplay interactivity to control the outcome of every game with the interactive match sim Ooh, a revamped growth system to better manage player development and more all right i mean that sounds a little bit you know more tasty certainly the sim part um why did you take me here Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, any career mode? All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Manage every moment. Okay. Jump in and out of matches to influence the course of the action or take charge of key moments, including penalties and free kicks, to change the outcome of a match. All right, does that mean you can just... I'll tell you what would be pretty sweet. If you were doing a sim and then... Oh, I mean, it says jump in. So if you got a free kick or a penalty, you could jump into the match, take the free kick or penalty, and then hop out and do a sim. I'll tell you what, that would be fantastic. That would really be quite, quite brilliant. Konami, take note if that's possible. Well, like I said right here, it does say resume, jump in, team management, quick sim. I Honestly, if that was the case, I might even get FIFA just to do uh, a career mode with sim because it might actually be quite fun. All right, let's see what else we have here. 
Um, manage your player's development in greater detail with the revamped growth system. Turn right backs into right wingers, defensive mids into centre backs, and more to fill gaps in your team and monitor player attribute changes during training to see how your squad is progressing. So it seems like they're kind of going a football manager route, which is not a silly move. It's quite a smart move, what with a lot of people playing football manager. Obviously, if you want to manage a, a, a team and just manage, you would buy football manager, but why not cater to both crowds uh, get more insight into your squad's performance levels with match sharpness a new attribute that indicates how likely your players are to perform in the most crucial moments during the course of a game increase increase your players sharpness with a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions to improve the likelihood of your strikers putting big chances away or defenders making key tackles all right, what have we got here? Plan your team's training schedule with the new activity management system. Okay. I mean, I like to actually see these as opposed to just read about them, obviously. Uh, enhanced opposition AI sees opponents approach games with more intelligence in both defense and attack. New systems create more informed AI decision-making in marking, tackling, passing, and dribbling to present you with more challenges during each match and keep your career fresh from game to game. Well, we'll see. I still don't like FIFA's gameplay. I don't think it's going to make me want to play it more than Pez. Um, but at least they're trying something different, maybe. Uh, we've got enhanced uh, transfer realism by providing both human and AI control teams with new ways to sign players. Make loan to buy offers with optional or mandatory future transfer fees to secure new talent for your team. And respond to AI manager initiated player swap proposals. It's a mouthful as you look to master the transfer market. And finally, customize your career mode with new initial setup options. Get a more true-to-life experience of negotiating signings on the transfer market with authentic transfers, or boost your team's starting budget to help you build your squad with financial takeover. More to come in August. Okay, I mean, this sounds more interesting to me. I am a Master League guy, or a career mode guy, but primarily a Master League guy. So I want to see stuff like this. And what with Konami not pushing the boat out this year and not really doing anything in Master League, I am quite intrigued with this sim mode. And if you can jump in and do that kind of stuff, I don't know, guys. I may have to pick up FIFA just to do a real quick sim and try it out. That's, that's quite intriguing to me. All right. Now, gameplay... You know, we'll see. I'm not really going to go over it. I'm going to keep this video respectable in length. Um, just sort of my initial reactions to the trailer and sort of the, the career mode. Um, I want to see gameplay in person. I don't care about you telling me about stuff. You can say there's creative runs. Oh, hang on a minute. Here we go. Creative runs give you the new options for influencing your team's movement, revolutionizing attacking build-up play in FIFA 21, and providing you with more ways to break down. Okay, so it gives me new options. I'm hoping you're going to be able to just, you know, initiate that run yourself, which I don't see why you wouldn't. Otherwise, why would there be an arrow on the screen? So yeah, let's uh, let's wait for it. Obviously, the gameplay is coming out probably next month. I think August. So uh, we'll definitely stay tuned for that. I'm not worried about Ultimate Team. I don't care about that stuff. I'm an offline player. That's what I focus on. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below about the trailer. Um, yeah, it, it's you know it's a trailer. It doesn't show a whole lot, and um, I'm more excited about sort of the sim stuff and the gameplay features. So when those come in. We will check those out. But until next time, hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts below. Subscribe for more. And until next time, take care.